Two things today. One is we'll look at Nifty charts, uh, Bank Nifty charts, USDNR charts. Second is we'll look at open interest data uh, and the momentum in the option chain and the change in strikes. I mean, what sort of uh, st- where is it headed, right? Option open interest and to guess the direction of the market, of course. And finally, we look at FII, which is foreign institutional investor and domestic institutional investor data and figure out who's doing what. And we'll form an informed opinion about the market and try to guess where it is going tomorrow. And we will figure out what trades make sense tomorrow, right? So uh, uh, interestingly, <laughs> interesting thing we did today, yesterday, we decided that till clarity, we'll do nothing. And today was a very, very, uh, uh, it's one of those days you're glad you did not take a trade. Because if you had gone by the momentum of yesterday's closing, you would have expected the market to go up. But if you had bet on the open itself, thinking that the market uh, has broken the DMA, it would have eventually been a false breakout and you would have t- taken a loss, right? So this is one of those days where genuinely it's not good to trade. There's no clarity. When there's no clarity, there's no point in trading also. So everybody who said Ki DMA fatta, chalo, let's go along is wrong. Everybody who said Ki DMA nahi fatta, let's go short is wrong. Uh, eventually only the ones who did not trade survived so let us look at what the market is up to next so this is our uh, chart this is our channel system Uh, a lot of user generated charts today we'll talk about them also very nice charts actually quite spectacular the first thing is uh, sorry uh, the first thing is that nifty is still in this channel it has come down below 100 dma it is below this horizontal resistance so there is definitely a pause in the upward momentum right it is unmistakable that there's a pause in the upward momentum but we also know that 100 dma is not going to be easy to break so this is kind of range bound and i don't want to join i don't want to predict who's going to win and bet on anybody when somebody wins i'll join them and you know uh, take their side and try to you know fish when the this thing is um, dirty. So, so now if it's below 100 DMA, it is a short. If it is above 100 DMA, it's a long. So uh, now we have to uh, look at uh, what next? One second. Yep. So now um, user generated content. Uh, so this is a chart by Singh S. Singh. I don't know what is his real name. He always says Singh. Singh is King. The second is by Vishwanathan, Vishwanathan Bala. The third is by uh, Kush. Kush is Kush Sharma. Right? All of them are roughly the same chart. They are all, they've all identified a channel, an hourly channel which Nifty is in, and they've all figured out that Nifty is at the bottom of that hourly channel, and if it breaks, Nifty can have downside, right? Like, I mean, three people can't be wrong, I'm guessing. So, if this channel breaks, there is definitely a downside. So, let's try to replicate that channel at our end. Yeah, you can actually see this pretty clearly. Yeah, what is this, the deal with trading view now? Yeah, something like this. I think I've turned on some setting because of which it is doing this uh, jumping around. No, 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 don't do this. Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what the problem is? Uh, this is playing some games with me, but largely you get the meta. I think these guys have done a much better work of the channel. My channel is not just. It's, it's just jumping for some reason. I did some change in settings of trading view, but you can see it clearly in the hourly chart. You can see a channel. If it breaks, there is some downside. And today, looking at the consolidation which happened at the bottom, it looks like it might just break, right? So that's our uh, chart read on Nifty. But this is very telling. Everybody sold calls and unbound puts today. Which means put open interest has decreased, call open interest has increased, there is a signal of a downside. Again, PCR is low, which is bearish. 86 million calls, 47 million puts, bearish. Uh, Option chain hints that tomorrow's expiry will be below 73. We don't need to be very spectacular. But please note that the only genuine support which is coming is at 17,000. Right? So, it's not bearish piercing. That's my mistake. Sorry. This is bearish, this is a motorfill. 
early upward channel under threat option a bearish oh actually i have written everything i don't know why i did this yeah. everyone sold call everyone sold put sorry bought puts if you look at fii data right there is a there is some call selling and there is very mild put buying 10000 call sold this is significant 1000 crore index futures sold 500 crore stocks by i don't know if it's a block deal or something but uh, except for this very mild stock buy futures and options data is definitely hinting at negativity from the fis side so the verdict is simple it's not a market you can go long we might have some downside very high probability and two three days back we had said that we'll happily sell calls till we have a close above 100 ma that hasn't come yet uh so we've always said that you know sell calls since uh 21st march we've been selling calls under 100 dma till it is broken so turns out that was the right trade and it looks like if nothing goes wrong we might just cash in on the calls tomorrow right now let's quickly look at bank nifty again right we said this yesterday that there is 50 dma 200 dma and 100 DMA all of them bunching together and it's going to be very difficult for bank nifty to break out of them today the market opened tried to test the 200 dma immediately saw selling and now we have a negative candle again finally going to usd nr and this is very very interesting usd nr formed a negative positive candle yesterday which is a sort of inverted bullish hammer and then today it has a uh, bullish engulfing on the international markets but this is not what matters what matters is of course domestic so in domestic matter markets usd inr has actually given a bullish engulfing candle so if you look at it and we were talking about it yesterday right it is looking like it is consolidating to break this line so in yesterday's analysis we were saying that dollar has come down but it has a positive candle then it touched this resistance and then it came down now from the price action it is looking like it is consolidating below this level to eventually break out now with today's candle in place i would consider that a very high probability because today is a bullish engulfing candle and if tomorrow there's a confirmation to this candle we might see a breakout day, day after or monday or i don't know when right it's difficult to predict when the breakout will happen but as of now usd binar is looking super strong right because this candle has been engulfed by a bullish green candle okay so basically dollar looks strong bank nifty has multiple resistances over nifty it's very tricky um, uh, one second i'll just redraw this channel right here yeah i really have no idea what i did with this trading view like I honestly, honestly would love to know what I did and why it is jumping like this. But if, uh, yeah, I, I think there is some setting in which it makes it sticky towards the candles or something. I think, yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ, this is tough. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the channel. I'm guessing this is the channel. So, Anyway, the point is Nifty looks like it is losing momentum in an hourly channel. It looks like it is taking resistance from the horizontal level and the 100 DMA level. Bank Nifty looks like it has multiple resistances above. Dollar looks like it is strengthening. So, I mean, generally, if I read all of this together, it looks like there is some kind of negativity which is about to come. I don't know what is the reason for that negativity, what news event will trigger it. But it looks like something is about to hit us. So, oh yeah, magnet, magnet. I'll turn off the magnet. I, yeah, please remove magnet. How do I remove magnet? Sorry, some, can somebody help me with that? Left toolbar, disable the magnet. Left toolbar. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, thank you so much whoever pointed this out. My God. I sometimes feel so old because of all this stuff. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> this is horrible yeah i think i'm i'll I'm, I'm getting used to trading you we'll we'll get there we'll get there so yeah with the magnet gone now it is much easier to draw this trend line oh my god this is so easy now 
yeah this is the trend this is the channel right so whoever to everybody who's asked me to turn off the magnet thank you so much the magnet is gone <laughs> and it was hilarious how i was struggling with it for some time but anyway so this thing is losing momentum it might break uh, we can't say if it will break or not because that is the prediction business we are not in the prediction business but tomorrow if this channel breaks right please uh, don't think twice about shorting especially if it breaks with some volumes or if it gaps down and comes back and there is negative price action here so basically nifty looks like some downside dollar looks like some upside bank nifty looks like some downside maybe this is not the time to go along or let me put it in another way right i will short with a lesser position size because it's not a very clear short like it was just before that russian incident happened or it was not a very clear long like how it gave us a long uh, in that bullish engulfing candle here right this is this is a clear long uh, although we didn't long all the way till here we somewhere exited i mean i thought this is over somewhere around this direction that was my mistake but after this particular point it was long but this is not a clear long or a clear short why because there are multiple resistances and support coming into play it's essentially a conflict as an aki usd inr also you can say this is going to pakka break out see it may break out but you can't predict a breakout you can only react to a breakout when it happens so I, my my if i were to do something right i would sell calls on nifty sell calls on bank nifty uh, be slightly long in dollar through a put spread or a call spread uh, without my usual position size probably at half or one third my normal position size why because when you are clear you can bet with bigger position size but when you are not clear and you have like a 60 40 then bet at your you know bet at a lower position size right so the idea is uh, keep a uh, keep a smaller lot size and try to do this uh, to try to execute your view right so that is that so this is our uh, uh, analysis for today arnav is asking kbc global arnav unfortunately i don't know how to analyze single stocks and also because single stocks are so easily manipulatable that any data you see on option chain uh, you know uh, chart anything is unreliable because of low volumes it can be operated by an operator so this is the problem which is why we don't look at uh, uh, looking look at single stocks which are uh, small so yeah my email id is my name at sensible.com uh, somebody is saying us satya murthy is saying us market down is just down confirm there is few let's see let's see yeah but who knows right sjx nifty has always rebounded so many times in the past but it's not that down right it's almost flat 7255 sjx is at 7256 maybe it is yeah, dow is down like 0.77% not high we'll see tomorrow right what's the point if tomorrow it stays in the channel and if we see bounce back we'll go long if tomorrow it breaks the channel we'll go short why do we have to predict anyway if we sold the calls of 7300 7400 7, levels looking at the option chain 3 4 days back uh we are cashing out the calls i don't think 17400 is getting taken out tomorrow with all these resistances in place so anyway that is our analysis for today slightly about 10 minutes we are trying to keep it under 15 minutes for everybody's uh, this thing so thank you guys so much for joining we'll see you again tomorrow for pre friday analysis uh what's new what's new there's nothing new the, the we'll we'll uh, you know Uh, announce something new when that something new happens so thanks again for guys for joining this is as usual just analysis no tips no recommendation no advice uh, as usual please don't trade because somebody on youtube asked you to do so please don't trade unless you find a very good strong reason to trade so please have a profitable expiry tomorrow and keep your capital safe bye